all dressed up. Here's the kids before I go. And the rosemary. Is that us? It is us. Here's the kids before I go. And the rosemary. Is that us? It is us. It's the Evans. I don't want you to go. Yeah. Baby girl, I don't want you to go. It's my first bike venture. Mm. Are you sad? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Why? Because you're a bike. Too yeah, heavy for you to fine. walk now. It's probably going to rain on me a lot too. It's, it's, it'll be fun. Right? Fine, and I'll keep you updated. Twitter as well. You're gonna call us? Do video chats. Yeah. Really? Oh. There's not gonna be no internet. Well, there will be internet enough. Are you biking to today? Today I'm gonna try and do 110 kilometers. We're starting the video. Alright, here I go. I'm on the voyage. <laughs> you gotta. Uh, I gotta hope that I know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I got enough gear, that's for sure. Well, I started my ride, had to say goodbye to the family, which is already very sad. The sun is pretty today. Got all my stuff, my liquids, my food. And uh, I hope that uh, I have everything. Seeing this is my first solo trip, I'll be updating you guys every step of the way. Well, off I go. I'm gonna be on this for at least 50 or 60K, I think. Beautiful. We just passed the village of Namur. I'll write it in there. Got fully loaded. The weight distribution is much better now that I went lower on my center of gravity. Everything's on and we are ready to go. I didn't sleep well last night at all. Um, probably an apprehension of going on this trip. Um, but you know, once you get going, you feel really good. It was really sad to say goodbye to my two little kids and my wife, of course. And I am forever grateful that they're letting me do this. And uh, yeah, south we go. Let's do this. I've always loved this farm here, which I think is a hotel or Airbnb type of thing here, Gite, as they call it in France. But it's so lovely, old farm. So cool, old. I'm only 20K into my ride, about 681 kilometers. Yeah, things are going good. So here's the map. Currently here, which I guess means I'm off the map, <laughs> but uh, we came from up here, did all this, all the way down there. And it's been like this the whole way through along this little Loin River, all the way down we go. Wow, how cool, look at this. Quaint, beautiful little road. I just bit my tongue. It doesn't stop bleeding, fucking sucks. But 
I'll be all right because this makes up for it already all right later Wow I unfortunately had to take a little detour right now through some uh, roads and busy roads to villages but at least I found a bakery so I got a bit of food and filled up my water but then I find this look at that so incredible oh my god if it was like this the whole way down write this for days oh wait I kind of am <laughs> So, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I'm doing this. Typically, what happens is I'll dream of these things and I'll look at all the YouTube videos and say, wow, that'd be really cool. And I research the shit out of everything. And then something in my life happens where I never get to do the things that I want to do. Well, this year's different. I decided I'm gonna go see my friend. I'm living in France for the year. And I have my, uh, the best man at my wedding, Matt, who lives in the, almost south of France. Um, and uh, I jokingly, half jokingly said, uh, hey man, why don't I come ride from Paris to you? And, uh, then I decided instead of just seeing it for once, I'm actually gonna do it. And I've never bike packed before. I have no idea what the heck I'm doing, but I have all this stuff. I have legs and I have a supporting family. And so I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go do it. So here I am riding almost 700 Ks through unknown territory, mapped the shit out of it through Komoot, uh, using my element to navigate GPS I'm gonna do some uh, wild camping where I can might get a hotel one night maybe whatever I'm just gonna do my best have fun take my time and enjoy it so yeah moral of the story I'm doing it Here is the village of Montvue on the uh, little canal. Beautiful. Get the boats, roads, churches. So nice. I'm gonna go right under here and pass close to this gorgeous little church. Unfortunately, all the cafes are closed, of course, but that's the way it is. Look at that. It'll be worth it. But right about now, I could use a coffee, but ain't no coffee. But there's this, which is pretty cool. And an old dish for. <laughs> this is typical France for some reason. They love to cut their trees like this. But then, in proper summer slash spring, they all sprout out again like crazy. It's pretty nuts. Anyway, we just arrived at a village here. 
forget the name, but go tour around and see. So these are called the Sete Clues, which are seven stair steps basically up, no longer in use, but um, they used to use them to bring boats up the, the river that's here. Um, so they would fill each level, then the boat would go forward and they'd lock that part up and then that would fill up and so on and so forth. It's pretty cool. It uh, dates to the 17th century, I believe. I have to go take a look, but anyway, they're now defunct, unfortunately, but it's still pretty cool, though. Um, yeah, what does it say here? 1573 to 1629, the guy who built this. Pretty rad. Okay, so, day one, I'm about to hit the 100k mark. Look at that, boom, 100k. Getting to this bridge, pretty rad. Little doggy. Look at this. Super cool. All right, I'm gonna try and hit 132, I think, to get to this other village to get some supplies. And then, uh, might try to find a campsite or just do some uh, wild camping. Laters. Well, as predicted, the rain has reared its ugly head. It's not an intense rain, but if I stay in this too long, definitely gonna get wet. I'm running at 129K, getting a little tired now. Ideally at this point, I'm looking for a campsite. Pitch up, relax, and take it again tomorrow, out. Nice little campsite, uh, camp, camp, camping ground. <laughs> um, found a nice little campsite on a campground. It's pretty quiet because it's low season, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna pitch my tent right here and um, lock up my bike and rest up. I ended up doing 148 or 150K today, which is pretty cool. I'm in the town of Sancerre up in the hills over there, um, famous for their wines, wine region. Um, and I got myself a bottle of red to, for later. So let me pitch my tent and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, so I finished my first day of writing and I'm in my little tent. I'm watching a movie on Netflix, The Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise again because I thought it's pretty interesting and I started watching it the other day. Um, finished my little half bottle of wine to relax and uh, I'm about to go brush my teeth in a few minutes and then take a kip and I'll wake up tomorrow ready to go and um, another hundred or maybe 75 depends it's supposed to be a little more hilly tomorrow so we'll see good night day two had a decent night's sleep last night i mean it was raining quite a bit in the distance over there the tippy tip is sancerre sancerre is known for its uh wine especially white wine which is really good and uh, now I'm heading uh, off for another 100k down south we go as you can tell the weather is not inviting today I mean, it wasn't really last night either to be honest but uh, it is what it is and we keep going if it's like this for 100 kilometers I'm stoked and uh, talk to you in a little bit when I see some fun stuff. Bye. Little update. I'm uh, 45 something kilometers in this morning. Um, it's been raining on and off pretty brutally. Like big 
downpours, the good news is at least they don't last too long, so at least I can just rest up. Um, and uh, yeah, just riding along, it's pretty. Uh, it's a little windy today, but you know what? Do what we do. Well, this sucks. Got a puncture on my stupid bike here. And I tried to use the uh, repair stuff from, uh, what's it called? Muck off. But the hole was just way too big. So I had to put a tube in. But as you can understand, putting a tube in, as you know, putting a tube in the wild on a bike is not always the easiest. So anyway, here I am, more to follow. Well, it's raining outside, but I found shelter in a really rad little church. And this is what it looks like outside. Sunny rain. Today is a bit of a drag, I'll be honest put my tire on but for some unspoken reason one of the beads isn't setting right so I get this like wobble woo, 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 woo. every so often so I gotta fix that all right back into the church cute little church really rad Just, you know, it's hard to tell because it's dark but they have this little nook here Painted, really cool. This is Mary and Jesus. All right, back to the waiting game. Fields for days. It stopped raining. Yay! I'm only at 70k. Update, I slept really well last night, which is awesome. But on the bad news, I realized I lost my favorite rain jacket, my gore shake dry romance jacket, and I think I might cry. I don't know where the heck I left it. I thought I'd left it this one place, so I took a taxi out to try and get it, so I didn't add another 40 or 50K round trip on my legs today for no reason. And I got there, no jacket. I have no idea. I'm really shuffed, sad. Yeah, so now I gotta go to Moluso and fix my rear tire anyway and hope that I find a good, uh, decent rain jacket. A lucky side though, today's beautiful, but windy as heck. Yep, anyway, I'm on this path now, really pretty. And I'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Yeah. Finally got my tire fixed on. Bought myself a cheap rain jacket. And I'm backing out of Holy Soul, which is really ugly. And uh, finally hit some nice trails. We are in Mirza, in the Cher region. Nice little church, as usual. Old villages, old buildings. Mm. Look at that. On the half hour. And, uh, yeah, 76 KN. Have about 20 more to go. We're gonna go find a camping site. Bye. Hey, so I uh, slept in this really cool little campground last night. Very quiet. I was pretty much the only person there. Uh, and of course, two in the morning starts pouring rain. And so now I'm just about to start my ride. But before that, I thought I'd go see this church. It's really cute. So I'm gonna go and be quiet.
Look at that. I always start my sentences with, look at that. Well, look at that. A castle in the middle of nowhere. That's pretty rad, I think. Anyway. Nice scenery. Today is hard. It's cold, it's windy, and it's raining all day long. Drizzle after drizzle after downpour after drizzle. Anyway, I'm almost to a big city. I'm already past my 53K mark, and off I go. Little update. I was gonna try and find a place to dry my clothes because it's been pouring all day in a town called Aubusson, which is lovely. And then I got this close, whew, so close, to saying, F it, just get a little hotel room, relax for the rest of the afternoon, get some wine, watch some TV. But then that little bug in my head said, it doesn't feel right, you gotta keep going. So I kept on going, and guess what? It's still raining, and I'm still cold, and it's been climbing forever, which has helped with the heat at least. And uh, it's beautiful, decrepit. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to this next campsite. I'm hoping I might splurge tonight and get a little cabin. We'll see. I still have about 30K to go. 35K. All right, bye. Wow, such awesome power. But you kind of know that you're in trouble and then it's cold and windy when you hit these guys. And there's a lot more of them. It's beautiful though. The cows. Yeah. I do like a windmill. Okay, day four. The Vizale River. I slept in a little cabin last night in a campsite that was so-so. Um, anyway, it was nice because I didn't have to pitch my tent in the pouring rain. But now it's raining. I'm going to go 130 kilometers today. That's the intent. Or until I freeze to death on, this death, uh, on the side of the road. Either or. I'll let you know. All right. Bye. Is this recording? Testing. Hey, for those of you who remember all the old Rafa videos or photos, especially you, Ryan Thompson, Portland, we talked about this many times, but it's in the rain, it's grueling, black and white, totally crazy and just painful. And you make cycling look so cool. Well, Tell you what, marketing works because the whole time I'm climbing up this fucking hill in the rain and wind, all I think about was those Rafa guys did it, so can I. So here we go. At least it's worth it. Beautiful. And today, courtesy innovation of sink dishwashing gloves because I figured my other gloves soak up water and I sweat in them anyway. So while these might end up being really a bad idea in the long term, as I sweat in them and my hands start to look like raisins, I still feel protected. And you can't tell, but I also put plastic bags over my socks and my shoes and hopefully that curbs some of the water in there. Back at it. Hey, so today is miserable, but it's cleared up a little bit. I don't know if you can see back there. Probably not. Anyway, somewhere there's blue sky, a very tiny, tiny little speck of blue sky, which is comforting, but look at this. Cute church, huh? Anyway, off I go.
Well, thank goodness. For now, the rain has stopped. It's warmed up and it's really helping my mood and vibe because I was losing it when it was pouring. I found this nice little spot here, little lake, this mesmerizing mouth that swallows all the water. Crazy. All right, back on the road. Hey, first car I've seen in a while. Nice. Woo! Arrival into a cute village again. A church. Old houses. And my famous words, look at this. Pretty cool. Ugh, sorry for the shakiness. Got cows over there. The clouds are at bay. My GPS says turn right. Go. This is incredible. Look at this. And I'm gonna have to stop saying that. Saint Basile de la Roche, commune d'Argenta sur Tortone. Wow. Let's go wide. Say. That was pretty cool. It's so amazing all these little villages that are built in these remote areas and I always wonder what is it that the heck you do all day or what job do you have? But that's a stupid way of thinking because obviously they haven't figured out. It's gorgeous and I'm stoked I get to see it out. All right, this is the Dordogne River. Really beautiful river. And luckily been graced by blue skies. And we get to see a very quaint little village called Argentat. Very cute, look at that. I'm gonna try and zoom in over there. So cool. Anyway, I still have a good 50K to go before I get to my next campsite. Wish me luck and some high and bye. Oh my God. I just did a really hard climb, but then at least you get something at the top here. Some kind of fortress castle place. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but whoo, it's beautiful, but I'm tired and it's depressing to know I have another big hill coming up before I can finally rest for the night, take a shower. But look at this. Huh. Little tower fortress. I guess somebody lives here now. It's so rad. <sighs> All right. After this, I'm out. Well, I made it to my destination today. 127 kilometers um, in the place called Lame. <laughs> L-E-Y-M-E. -E. Oh my god, the fuck. Helmet marks, old man wrinkles. Anyway, uh, and I feel like I'm cheating because I called this campsite and I got here and they said, there's no way we're going to let you sleep outside. We have all these things available so you can stay in here. So this is pretty awesome, uh, I have to admit. So I have a bathroom, a shower, something to dry my clothes on. And I'll put a link in the description of this place. Really nice owners. 
cool spot. They just bought it and they're going to be renovating it and bringing some tourism in the area, which, by the way, is really close to one of my favorite towns in France called Rocamadour, which makes this really cool little cheese here, a little sheep cheese, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, anyway, they gave me this pizza. They gave me some half bottle of wine. <laughs> they gave me some coffee. This is so cool. Thank you. All right. Talk to you in a bit. I'm going to get all ready. Well, today's the last day of riding and um, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's only 107K. <laughs> um, of course, it started pouring outside um, as it usually does. Um, just to make sure you're super motivated to leave. Um, but I got to sleep in an amazing little cabin um, here, which is really cool because uh, the owners aren't open yet, but I called yesterday and they said, sure, come on over and um, offered me this little cabin, which was amazing because um, as you can tell here, I can dry all my stuff, make myself a nice little breakfast, coffee, uh, and clean all my stuff and organize for the last day. Um, and hopefully you have a lighter load on the bike because all the food's gone. <laughs> um, so I'll have to stop on the way. But um, yeah, it's been pretty amazing and I'm a little sad that it's over so quickly. I didn't intend to do it so fast, but I guess um, uh, once you get going, it's just really hard not to keep pedaling. Uh, even when you're tired, it's, it's weird. Um, so I'm gonna fuel up, get ready. Um, and uh, hopefully the rain will die off a little bit by the time I'm ready to roll out of here and I'll see you guys on the road. It seems like a good time to show you how I'm gonna stuff this awesome uh, sleeping bag um, from our friends. Can't find the label at Feathered Friends here uh, from Seattle into a dry bag from Revelate Design that goes in the front of my bag, of my bike in a carry. So I'm gonna put you in stop motion, time lapse, and show you how I do it. It's just a bunch of stuffing. Hey, so as you can tell, the, bag, the sleeping bag is stuffed in here pretty good, but to make sure that you get a really tight fit because it has to fit between the width of my handlebars and my bag, my bike, um, you have to stuff it even further in. So I'm gonna show you, you gotta keep pushing in and try to suck out as much of the air as you can. And the way I do this is usually I use my knee and push down, you can hear the air suck out. And then I seal the top with one roll or two, depending, so that it creates, as you can tell, like a vacuum in here. So there's no air coming in now. And then you can roll it really tight so that number one, it stays airtight. And number two, it stays as small as it can get, like a little burrito so that when it's on your bike, it doesn't uh, create any issues. So this from Revelate Design, really great bag. bag. Um, I strap my um, tube in the front and a little shovel, in case you need that. Anyway. I can't tell you how often I've gone in front of the cows and been thankful to see a living thing in these deserted roads. Even though there's farms around, and other things, you don't really see many people, which is pretty cool. But I end up talking to the cows quite a bit and they must be tired of me. All right, later. Going over a cute little bridge over the Selle River. And the valley beyond with another bike touring cyclist. search of food. Have not been very lucky this morning finding food. All these small tiny villages have not much to offer. If not nothing. Out. That's a pretty
Pretty cool old castle out in the hills. Rain again. I'm pretty sure this is uh, the last long climb and I'm almost at the top. I'm dead today. My legs are just starting to bonk. Uh, my left knee hurts. My right knee starting to hurt, but I'm almost there. 30 kilometers, 30 kilometers. No, 33 kilometers. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. I'll tune back in when I get to this one village I want to go see, uh, which I have a fond memory of, and then Corte sur Ciel, which is which was supposed to be the end destination, but then we're gonna add uh, another six to seven k. Go see my buddy Matt and stay at his house. Bye. This road is obviously not used too often, but that's what makes it nice. As you've probably noticed did not end up doing too much gravel on this ride because to be honest there isn't that much that i've found and also i don't know what anyway this is pretty lovely this is exciting in the distance is my destination Gold sur ciel. We're gonna get closer, of course, but man, it feels good to see it. I'm gonna climb to the top of that sucker, take a few photos, another video, call my buddy and bomb down, hopefully, it's all downhill, down to his house and kick my feet up and have a drink. Wow, it, it's definitely a humbling experience to do all this. Um, I recommend it to anybody who's ever dreamt of doing this. Um, just go. I'll talk to you later. Wow. This is it. Well, I'm climbing up Gold sur Ciel. My final destination village. Can't believe I made it, and you'll see why when I get to the top, but don't worry. I will not bore you with this climb. It's not boring me for sure. <laughs> All right, catch you in a little bit. Kind of feels like this path is calling my name. Can I do it one-handed while filming and not falling? Yes. Look at that. Oh, it's way too steep. I'm gonna walk it. Can't do it. It's gotta be 20%. Yeah, pretty far. Not far enough. Yeah. See in a bit. You're probably sick of hearing me talk but I fell in love with this place a few years ago when I came to visit my buddy that I'm gonna go see and he lives just a few kilometers from this place and as you can hear me panting it is called Code sur Ciel which it is literally in the sky. And I'm gonna stop for a bit. I mean, this place is for real. Oh, you look at this. Usually, this would be packed with people having a few drinks, coffee, tea, and uh, unfortunately, because of COVID, everything's pretty much locked down. 
which is such a shame. But hopefully by Wednesday, things should open up again. And you should be able to come have a drink in Terras, which who knows, maybe I'll be here for that. It might be worth it. This house here is owned by an artist and you can actually walk through and see all the art. I'm too tired to show you, but if you ever make it out here, I highly recommend it. And we also have the market here. Love this place. Let's go see the view. So we were just there in the market, the covered market. This is the other plaza. Pretty amazing. And this is where they cover Kelsey Watch. City in the sky. Oh, this is in the sky. As far as the eye can see. And we made it here. Thanks for watching. Grab your bike, grab your legs, grab anything and go on an adventure. Let's go. There it is in the distance. Covered by a little cloud. Goodbye, girl. I will see you again. I made it. I'm at my friend's house. I'm gonna tune out. I'll do a recap later. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.